This motherfucking video right here is about Anthony Crawf um, Crawford. Anthony Crawford. He uh, it was in um, 1916. Yeah, 1916. And it was in um, it was in um, Abbeville, Abbeville, South Carolina. October the first. If I'm wrong about that man, man, I've been smoking man, I might be wrong with six. They might be nineteen eleven. He might be nineteen eleven. But anyway. Uh, anyway, it was in uh, Abbeville, South Carolina, man. Anyway, this dude might have been nineteen eleven, actually I believe it was nineteen eleven, man. My bad, y'all. Anyway, um <laughs> look man, uh damn I'm high as hell. But hey, I keep it one hundred, I'm gonna go goddamn I ain't gonna edit the goddamn thing. But so the dude uh he was successful as fuck, man. This is the craziest one I've seen, man. This is the one that's kind of got me shook a little bit, man. Like, really got me shook, man. Because uh, this dude was so successful. Like, he was a farmer, and uh, he was this successful. He, like, he was born in slavery. Of course, he'd been, you know, see, they, 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 the, the break or whatever they call that, you know what I'm saying? I think, you know, when, when freedom broke. Yeah, when freedom broke, okay, he was able to work his way up, man, and um, obtain some... Um, Obtained some land, some property and shit, built upon that, made that happen, you know, built upon that, and um, became wealthy, man. He was wealthy. He was wealthy like 427 acres of prime, prime motherfucking uh, cotton land, land to grow cotton on, man. That was like, like prime. So, you know, back then, 420, I mean, come on now. Man had some. So, uh, it was one Saturday morning, man, and uh, he was going to go in town and sell cotton seeds, some cotton seed, right? And, uh, you know, he thought he was going to get the deal, you know, because, you know, they've been selling, he's been seeing what it's going for, right? So they run shit, look, well, they write his shit up, man, write his shit up at 85 cents per unit. And it was going for a lot more than that. And he said, no, nah, man, fuck that, no deal, no deal, no deal, no deal. He said, no deal. He said, matter of fact, give, he said, I mean, I wish he said, hey, you fucking pale ass peckerwood. He said, man, give me back my motherfucking, he said, give me back my, the exact quote is, give me back my damn cotton seed. Now, give it back to me now. No deal. Give me back my damn cotton seed. And uh, so they arrested him, man, because he broke the law. He broke the law, man. Yeah, white people, he broke the law. The law was, check it, the law was, you cannot, like, talk back to a white man, fuss back at him like that, and, 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 and um, was it, curse him. Oh my God, he cursed him. It's a misdemeanor, dude. It's a flat out misdemeanor. Say, so lock him up, man. So while he's up there, man, the word gets around real quick because he is somebody, you know what I'm saying, that they hate. They fucking hate this man because that money, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, they hate this motherfucker, man. They hate this motherfucker. So uh, they all get together because he's been acting a lot, like just a little bit too uppity. Yeah, he was acting like he was equal to them or something. Looks like he thinks he's better than we are because he was more successful than y'all were and in this capitalism thing y'all got going on here. And he had a lot more than a lot than most of the people that was, you know, trying to get together. We got four hundred motherfucking citizens up together real goddamn quick, right? And they stormed the goddamn motherfucking jail, right? They stormed the jail and took his ass. They grabbed him up, they stabbed him, they beat him down, they tied him to a buggy. Some type of buggy they said. And uh this was 1911. I don't know. It was a buggy, though, man. They drug him around town and shit, right? They drug him all through town and shit. And uh, they, drug him, they drug him out to the fairgrounds and shit, right? And uh, there's where they hung him at, right? And then they riddled his body with, like, 200, 200 bullet holes in his body. And the last thing he said, you know, before they finally, you know, before they killed him was, um, you know, why, you, why, you know, I, I, I've always been a good, a good citizen. I've always been a good, respectable citizen, man this country and please make sure my, my, my family gets my bank note yeah yeah so then um, the family comes out to get the because you know they're well to do I mean they're well to do I mean oh yeah yeah let me go back to him man let me go back to him Look, man, he started the first, he, he started a black school. You know, they won't know other one. He started a black school in Abbeville, right? Yeah, man, for black kids, he started a school. He was also the um, president of the Black Masons of South Carolina. Yeah, yeah, this was somebody, man. This was somebody, dude, for real, for real. And, uh, 
you know, so, so, you know, that family comes to get the body, man, to respect, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, a burial or something. And they were told that, um, get the fuck on up the road, man. You ain't touching this body. I'm going, going down the road now. Y'all ain't gonna get the body unless, you know, you wanna be hanging up there with him. Pretty much. So they never got the body. I guess they hung it up there to rot, to make a statement, to make an example, you know, until it rotted. And you know what I'm saying? For, for real. Got the sting so bad, somebody said, God damn, take it down. Right? Yeah. But, um, yeah, man. That's what happened. So, he's got a great great granddaughter and a great granddaughter, a great granddaughter and a great great granddaughter alive right now. Yeah, alive right now, man. Because um, they found out about it. They tried to go up there and do something about, you know, because the, the land. They ran them off the land because they put something in the paper like the next week, a couple weeks later. The white people had um, taken an ad out in the paper, right? And um, there was like, man, a lot. I can't remember how many signatures it was, but my God, it was a boatload, right? It was a boatload of signatures, man. It was in the hundreds, right? And uh, saying that um, they needed to leave. Um, because if not, then, you know, there's something. If they didn't, you know, something bad was going to happen to them. And, you know, they just couldn't, and that they want nothing they could do about it. But something bad was going to happen to them, they, they needed to leave. So the oldest son, Walter, man, Walter, he calls um, he calls the, the, the fucking governor and shit. Cause like I said, these are somebody, man. These are people, man, right? They got, they. Man, that was the backbone of that black community in that little township of Abbeville. Believe that. Um, and, of course, man, you know, the man, I think Richard Manning, Governor Manning, Governor Richard Manning said, hey, man, I am appalled. I am appalled. I am appalled. I do not stand. Blah, 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 blah. But guess what, man? I can't protect you, though, man. I really can't. I can't, I can't guarantee you you won't get smoked because you didn't, they didn't tell them to leave Abbeville. They told them to leave South Carolina. <laughs> They said leave South Carolina. That's why he called the governor. Because they said leave South Carolina, motherfucker. And uh, the governor said, the governor said, man, I mean, I'm just blah, blah, blah. Uh, um, get the fuck out of here. Because I can't protect you either. So, there you go. So they left, man. They went somewhere in Illinois and settled, man, and shit. You know, years later, you know, they came back down and tried to say something about the land. And there ain't no, there's, there's never been nobody convicted, never been an arrest, never been anything like that whatsoever to the point that um, there's nothing they can do. But yet, you know, that land, they lost that land, dude. And the house, that, that the nice-ass house they lived in, and the land, man, for, they lost in the cotton and, and all that income. All the income was taken away from them, man. Got some families, man. Just sold it off, sold it off, passed it off, and, and, and just that goddamn man, goddamn. What are they going to do? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, you know, they were like, but well, can we get something back? That's not right, man. That was like, that's totally not right. We didn't leave here. We were run off from here. We just proved it. We finally proved it. Because y'all tried to brush it under the rug. Y'all ain't say nothing to nobody. We had to research this motherfucking shit to find this goddamn doctor, find the shit we looking for. Yeah, we got you now. And you know what they got? Abbeville said, I'll tell y'all what we'll do for you, man. We'll let y'all do that monument y'all wanted to do years ago when y'all were complaining about this motherfucking nigga getting killed down here. But no, we can't get nothing about your loss, man. That's just white people's shit. Now, they don't, that's their shit. So, it's just another one, man. Hey, man, I'm sorry, white people, that you motherfucking broke ass motherfuckers owe. Owe to the point that you owe so much that this, 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 these people, for the, the majority of these people, are gonna be a class above you now. <laughs> that's what it is, and they are, man. But guess what, man? That's a let, man. Be less like uh, the food stamp line and shit. You know, y'all always complain y'all can't get no help for that for for black people, lazy ass black people. So now you motherfuckers are gonna get all the help you want. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah, when your job ain't paying you enough, you are gonna get all you want, man, because they ain't gonna be they, they won't need that shit. You know? You know? And I guess what, man? You go to a, a black, but be like black banks, white people. They gonna spend the money back in house. For the most part, yeah, they invest here and there, but so do white people. They're going to spend the money in-house. I mean, come on, dude. Y'all just don't want to be below them as, as like a total group. Of <laughs> That's what it is, man. Same thing, man. Fucking get over it, dude. You're on the wrong side of history. The wrong side of history. Where I, I mean, you're on the wrong side of history, dude. I mean, this is the only right side of history it can be, man, for white people, man, for real, for real. To, show, to save any kind of face, man. You know what I mean? For real, dog. 
That motherfuckers are just so stuck on motherfucking all lives matter and so stuck on. But what's what about the white people? What about the white people? What about if we done to the white people? What that? <laughs> what about the white people, man? I'll tell you about the white people. You want to go back and see what your great great granddaddy was doing? That's about the white people. Come on, dude. We got to get right on that. We got to straighten our face on that shit, man. Come on. I don't give a fuck. It ain't got nothing to do with nothing like a nothing. This a... Hate them. Pay them. How about that? Peace.